So the other day, I was saying to myself, how do you go about making a monoprint with the screen printing process? Well, let me tell you. One way is to paint on the screen with watercolors, let the pigment dry, and then print it by reactivating it with transparent base and offsetting it onto paper. So let's look at how. So you need a screen with your margins taped off. I've got some watercolors, a cup of water, a couple brushes. This one has a water in the handle and an idea of what you want to do. So when you're all done, make sure that your watercolor is totally dried on the screen. And once it is, you'll be ready to print. So I'll get out my jig, clamp it down, get my paper all ready, and uh, take it from there. Okay, so I'm all ready to print. I've got my transparent base, squeegee, got a spoon, credit card for cleanup, some paper over there so I don't make a mess. Got my paper all ready and my screen ready to go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put some transparent base on my screen. So the watercolor is all dried into the screen and what the transparent base is gonna do is it's going, because it's water-based, is it's gonna rehydrate the ink so that, or the watercolor, so that it will act as our ink um, and will mix with the transparent base um, to print onto our paper. So I want to make sure I've got a nice well of ink here. It's probably a little more than I need, but I'd rather have enough. Okay, so then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to flood my screen. So you want to make sure you've got ink all, or excuse me, uh, transparent base all along the blade of the squeegee. And I'm going to give it one push across so that it's flooding the screen and starting to reactivate the ink. And while that's sitting there for a minute, Gonna get a piece of paper, put it in my jig. I can place this down and now give it a good pull. And I'll peel that off. And there's my first image. So that second sheet down and go ahead and flood. Take my paper in just the right spot, and I will pull another print. There's image number two. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash the pigment out of my screen and I'll be ready to go with another image. So what would I do different next time? Um, I think I might let the transparent base sit in the screen 
for maybe a minute or two longer before I pull my first print um, so that it really has time to rehydrate the watercolor um, on the screen. Um, I kind of really enjoy how sort of light and airy the image is, but I also think um, I might go heavier with the um, watercolor on the screen um, to get a richer image.